Whales are often considered as gentle giants that only swim in the ocean and feed on krill. However, this is not entirely accurate. Whales are capable of sinking entire ships, attacking humans, and even swallowing them whole. If you want to learn the gruesome truth about the world's most famous sea creatures, then watch this episode where I'll reveal the dark and unsettling side of whales. Brace yourself for a hair-raising experience. Inside. What could be worse than a humpback whale that almost crushed you close to shore? Probably only a humpback whale that swallowed you. Humpback whales are not predatory animals, but they can swallow people. Michael Packard experienced this in June of this year when he was swallowed by a humpback whale. Michael was out at sea, off the coast of the Cape Cod Peninsula in Massachusetts in his boat, as he usually did. The weather was warm and windless with good visibility. But after diving into the water with his diving gear to collect lobsters from the bottom, Packard soon experienced a violent jolt and found himself in total darkness. At first, Michael thought he had been eaten by a shark, but he soon realized there were no teeth and that a whale had swallowed him. This, of course, did not bring relief. Fortunately for Michael, the ordeal didn't last long. Feeling the discomfort, the whale shook its head, surfaced, and spat out the sailor stuck in its mouth. According to Michael, he spent 30 to 40 seconds in the whale's mouth. Not that long, but when you're inside a 15-meter giant, seconds can feel like hours. It's worth noting that Michael Packard is not the only person to be swallowed by a whale. In 2019, a bride's whale swallowed diving coach Rainer Schimp off the coast of South Africa, but the mammal quickly realized its mistake and spat Rainer out. It was also claimed that in 1891, a sperm whale swallowed James Bartley, and he was inside it for several hours before the whale was caught and spaded, and he was taken out. However, this story is widely considered to be a myth or a legend. Anyway, at least the stories of Schimpf and Packard prove once again that whales are not as simple and harmless as they may seem. In the water. Perhaps sperm whales' attacks on boats, kayaks, and ships are related to the fact that these whales see them as a threat. It's not excluded, but then how can we explain whale attacks directly on people? There have been such cases too. For example, in 2015, two tourists miraculously survived a sudden attack of a humpback whale. As you can see, sperm whales are not the only ones who are aggressive. The attack of the 40-ton giant was caught on camera as the tourists were watching the whale swimming around their kayaks and suddenly jumped out of the water, flew next to their kayak, and landed right on top of it. Although in fact it landed near the kayak, but it didn't matter because when the body of a giant whale weighing 40 tons lands next to you, you should not expect anything good. When the whale fell into the water, the kayak with the tourists disappeared behind the waves. It seemed the tragedy had happened, but fortunately, everything turned out all right. The tourists were not only able to get out of the water, but weren't even injured. At the same time, they said the whole experience was like having a building collapse next to you. Boats and ships. When sailing, the crew must always be prepared for potential danger. Out in the open water, threats can come from various sources, including living creatures such as whales. Although the elements are the primary enemy of ships, history has shown that whales can also attack ships and such attacks can have tragic consequences. Sperm whales are known for attacking ships and boats. Although they are not the largest whales, they are one of the most aggressive. An injured or enraged sperm whale can jump out of the water and even sink a ship. This may sound unlikely, but there have been documented cases of such attacks. One of the most well-known cases of a sperm whale attacking a ship is the destruction of the Essex in 1820. This American whaling ship's tragedy went down in history and even became the basis for the plot of the famous novel Moby Dick. Similar incidents occurred in the 1840s, where several sailors lost their lives and ships were destroyed. Although incidents like these are less likely to happen in the 20th and 21st centuries because of improved ship technology, sperm whales still occasionally attack boats, kayaks, and ships, which can cause great discomfort and danger to sailors. Killer Whales And of course, it's impossible not to tell about orcas or killer whales, 
the most dangerous whales in the world. In fact, in terms of biology, orcas are ocean dolphins, but if ocean dolphins are cetaceans, then orcas can be safely called whales to be more precise. They can be called the most ferocious whales on the planet. Not without reason, they're also called killer whales because these are the only true predators among modern cetaceans that hunt warm-blooded animals. Orca is at the top of the food chain in marine wildlife and has almost no enemies. That's cool in itself. But what's also interesting is that orcas hunt their prey, not in a simple way. Orcas are incredibly intelligent animals that use not only strength and size, but also complex tactical and even strategic schemes during the hunt. For example, when looking for fish, groups of orcas usually turn in a chain and swim at a speed of about 5 kilometers per hour. Echolocation signals enable each animal to determine its position relative to the others, stay in contact with them, and participate in the overall activity of the group. Orcas press a detected school of fish against the shore or gather the fish into a tight ball near the water's surface, dive into its middle, and turn and blast the fish with strokes of their tail. When it comes to hunting larger animals, orcas usually use ambush tactics. For example, orcas tactically ambush seals using the bottom topography near their rookeries, with only one male hunting and the other animals waiting in the distance. When hunting for seals or penguins swimming on the ice floe, orcas either duck under the ice floe and smash into it or line up in a line and create a high wave that washes the prey into the sea. They do it synchronously with the movements of the powerful flukes, orcas attack even the large whales. They simultaneously pounce on the victim, biting its throat and fins in an attempt to prevent it from rising to the surface. However, orcas do not attack all whales. For example, male sperm whales are avoided by orcas because their strength is great and their jaws can cause fatal wounds to the predators. Fortunately, orcas are creepy and extremely dangerous creatures only for sea dwellers. They're not dangerous for humans. In their natural habitat, Orcas show no fear of humans, but there have been no documented cases of attacks. There are no credible cases of human deaths as a result of orca attacks in the wild, which indicates that killer whales are not interested in humans as food, but there's a nuance. In captivity, orcas are capable of attacking humans, and several times it even ended tragically. Dolphins Despite the remarkable abilities of orcas and their aggression towards humans in captivity, Many still consider them friendly members of the dolphin family. Speaking of dolphins, just like whales, these intelligent creatures are not as kind and simple as you might think. Dolphins too have a dark side worth learning about. Stay tuned because, in the conclusion of this episode, I will share with you some unsettling and not so nice facts about dolphins that may change your perspective on these creatures. Help. It's long been believed that dolphins save drowning people and don't let sharks get close to people. Specially trained dolphins are indeed capable of doing this, but not wild creatures. They can swim up to drowning people out of curiosity and even let themselves be grabbed with their hands, but it won't be a rescue. Dolphins are driven by instinct, so once they're convinced that the person is indible, they leave. In the case of drowning, these sea creatures can even hasten death by playing with the exhausted drowning person. As for protection from sharks, these predatory fish and dolphins do not get along, so a pod of dolphins circling around the swimmer simply scares the bloodthirsty sea killers and the sharks swim away, but this can't be called conscious assistance. Attacks Contrary to popular belief, dolphins may not always be the friendly and helpful creatures they are often portrayed as. In fact, there have been several instances where dolphins have caused harm to humans particularly during interactions like feeding. One notable incident occurred at SeaWorld Park in Florida, where a dolphin bit a girl's hand as she was feeding it. The injury, while not life-threatening, was indeed painful. Such behavior is not limited to controlled environments like marine parks. In the wild, dolphins, especially when hunting in a pod, may perceive humans in wetsuits as competitors for their prey. This can lead them to aggressively push the swimmer away, sometimes dangerously far out into the open sea. These instances highlight the potential risks involved in interacting with wild animals, 
even those as intelligent and seemingly friendly as dolphins, underscoring the unpredictability of their behavior in both controlled and natural environments among each other. It appears that dolphins, often perceived as friendly, can exhibit aggressive behavior not only towards humans, but also amongst themselves. In fact, the term conflicts might be too mild to describe some of their interactions, as there have been instances where dolphins have inflicted fatal harm on each other. This aggressive behavior was particularly evident in a study conducted between 1991 and 1993 where scientists examined dolphin carcasses found off the northeast coast of Scotland. Their findings revealed that several of these dolphins bore clear signs of violence, including bite marks and deep scratches on their bodies. After analyzing these injuries, the researchers determined that they were likely inflicted by other dolphins, specifically those belonging to the same species as the deceased. This evidence points to a more complex and sometimes violent aspect of dolphin behavior, contrasting with their commonly perceived gentle nature. That's all, folks. If you want to witness dolphins and whales in person, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you soon.